Good day, students, once again. This is another question on a contingency table. It's another question on contingency table. A very short scenarios, always straight to the point and easy uh, to analyze. And I first have to read through the information provided so that I can identify the two categories. It says, in an experiment involving rats, 40% of the rats are male rats. Then obviously, if they are male rats, that means we also do have female rats. So that is the category that is very important to highlight or to identify. Second, it says, 30% of the rats died during the experiment. So there was an experiment uh, that involved the rats and during this experiment uh, some of the rats they died then obviously if some of the rats died then there will be those that will survive so now death will be uh, connected with the survival because others that die others they will not survive they will not die but survive so now we do have male and female, we do have those that died and they survived. Remember, there are those that died and there were males, and there are those that died and there were female rats. So now the next part says, what percentage of the female rats survived the experiment? Now we do have all the information that we have. We have male rats, female rats those that died during the experiment and those that survived during the experiment of which we can draw our table like this we have male rats we also do have female rats then after this will be the total on the uh, left hand side or the horizontal side we have those that died during the experiment and we also have those that survived during the experiment so now we draw our lines like that not forgetting that there's a total column again we draw our lines and we do have our contingency table very easy to draw by the way uh, not a transmesh uh, just the line are not very accurate so we draw the line we draw the line just in between don't have to be drawing very serious as long everything that we need is there then another line here so now this is how our contingent table is uh, supposed to look like male female those that survived and those that died during the experiment but i've already drawn it for you this time around but i wanted to show you how you can also draw it um, for yourself or at your own time when you are writing the assessment now we are told that there was an experiment and 40 percent of the rats were male rats and it is very important to highlight the fact that the information is provided in percentages so now the whole full percent is out of 100 percent so now if 40 percent were male then we go under the male row and we say under the total of the male, then we have 40% of those that were males. Uh, then obviously the rest will be female, which is 60%, and that will give us the total of 100%. Now we don't know yet which ones uh, that died and which one that survived, which ones died and which one survived. That will be definitely the next information. Then it says 30% of the rats died during the experiment. Let us hold it there. They say 30% of the rats died during the experiment. They don't talk about males or females as per yet. They're just telling us that 30% of the rats died during the experiment. Then we go under the line that says died and we write the 30% that died that means 70 percent survived the experiment so now if they did not die then they survived 
Remember, they said 30% of the rats died during the experiment. Then we can stop there or put a comma there. And we record the 30% that died during the experiment. And the 30% that survived, the 70% that survived the experiment. And it says, of which, now, of this 30%, they say, of which 60% were male rats. So now, out of this 30% who died during the experiment, 60% of them were male rats. So now that means 60% of this 30% were male rats who died during this experiment. So now that means we have to say 30 times by 60 to get to the 60% of the 30% who died during the experiment and who tends to be the male rats. So now that means we say 30 times 0 0.6 and this gives us 18%. That means 18% of the males that died were um, that of the eighteen percent of the males that died during the experiment were males. So now that will be eighteen. Remember, this is the total total minus the males we get to uh, the one of the females uh, who died during the experiment. Then obviously, if we say thirty minus eighteen, uh, that means twelve percent of the. Um, rats who died during the experiment tend to be females. Now, if we wanted, we could have said if 60% were male rats, that means 40% of the 30% were female rats who died during the experiment. How can we also calculate that? We can say 30 times by 0 0.4, that still gives us the same 12%. So now 40% of 30%, it is 12%. So now this is the information that we have provided so far. And from this point in time, we can get to all the missing cells because this is the total which is made of those that died plus survived will give us the total. That means now we can say 40 minus 18, 40 minus 18, this will give us 22%, meaning 22% of the male rats survived the experiment. And again here we can say 70 minus 22 or 60 minus uh, 12. It doesn't matter which one you use, you'll get to the same uh, amount of percentage. Let us say 70 minus 22, we get 48%. We get 48%. Or else we can say 60 minus 12, we still get the same 48% because male that died plus male that survived will give, sorry, female that died plus females uh, rats that survived will give us the total female rats that went through the experiment. I don't know why they used the rats and they, they did not decide to use chickens, but that is not our focus. They just decided on the rats uh, for their experiment, which I also don't know what their experiment was about. And our focus is not uh, on the experiment. We have to respond to what was required. They said, what percentage of the female rats survived the experiment? The, uh, the percentage of female rats that survived the experiment, we need to know the uh, percentage of female rats that survived the experiment. It is the 48 percent of the females survived the experiment. So now this is the response exactly to the question that we're required uh, to respond to. Now, yeah, that was another very short question on the contingency table. And I will be doing probably the last one. And I think that will be covering almost uh, every dimension of the contingency table that you know after the last uh, question that I'll be recording on this topic. Thank you guys very much. You've been lovely and you've been wonderful. God bless.